Welcome to the ECCAD pipe training videos. In this session we're going to cover some of the additional pipe editing commands. One of the good things about working inside of AutoCAD MEP and ECCAD is the ability to edit. Uh, for instance, you can take and you can come over here if I've drawn this system in as a weld system and you can see the weld gap in between the pipe and the fitting. If I want to switch this system out, I can just simply select this system by selecting it. Coming over to my routing preferences and I will just go over here and say I want to change this to a groove system. So I'm just going to change the routing preference to a thread by groove system. That has updated all the data. Now we have the Victolic couplings and the Victolic elbow. If I hover over that, you'll see that switch that out to a ductile iron grooved el Victolic elbow. We also have the ability to make changes here. Like for instance here, I've got my chill water pipe, my 12 inch here. I got my bottom of pipe elevation set for my branch and my main. If I click onto my branch, however, I can come over here and just by going back to my properties palette saying I needed to change this to a 4 inch in lieu of a 12 inch. In that, making that one change, that's updated my annotation, it's updated my T to a 12 by 12 by 4 T, and updated my elevation as well. You can also come through here and hook up different elevation parts. For instance, if I want to come over here, I'm going to change this one to a 4 inch as well. So I'm just going to click right back onto that and just come over to my properties palette. So I want to change that to 4 inch. And I've got these two runs at different elevations. I'm just going to click on this run. I'm going to grab the intelligent grip. And I'm going to come over here and get my snap onto my other piece here. So when I get close enough to this, and you'll see the snap light up right there, then I can click that. Now it's going to go through there, and it's telling me on the command line here that it's found four different ways to co connect those two objects. So if I just type in onto the command line and then hit enter, that takes me through the different scenarios based on the fittings I have loaded. When you find the scenario that you like, you just hit A for accept, and it draws that in for you. You can also come in here and add fittings. Let's say we want to add a branch fitting off of here. I, I don't want to come off with a T. I want to come off with an OLED. So if I go over here and just touch onto the pipe, and now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab the intelligent grip. And now as I come over here to my properties palette, I come over here and I can pick whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to say I'm going to use a, a, a reducer here. And I want to bring that off because I have my size set to uh, smaller. If I go back here and change the size to this and say, no, I want this to go to a 10 inch, okay, now I'm going to have my, my T in there. But I'm going to just escape out of that and say, I want to go back here now and I want to add a branch outlet. So as I come back there and I touch onto that, we'll go ahead and accept the reducer for now. And I'll just go ahead and pick that because I've got the smaller size. But I'm also going to come down here on my properties palette and I'm going to say, instead of a T, I want to do a takeoff. So if I set that to take off only, now when I come back and I put my size in here, and maybe I want to go with the 4 inch, now that's bringing me off with, the, with a uh, OLED. And you can see that, place that in here. If I come back off of this pipe over here that I've got set up as a welded system, maybe I want to come off of this one with a branch as well. But I want this to come off with a shaped nipple in lieu of an OLED. So just by selecting that, I've got my size here. I can go ahead and say OK for this to pick it. But now as I move down through here in my properties here, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say I want to go to my fitting settings and I want to change my fitting settings. So instead of having a weld lead here, I want to go over here and I'm going to make a selection and say I want to come through here and I want to get a shaped nipple. I want a butt weld gap with a bevel, shaped nipple. I'm just going to say OK. And now I want to have this come off at an angle. So I want this to come off at a 45 degree angle. Then I'm going to straighten that right back up. You can see that's put in there what we call a shaped nipple or a fish mouth. If I want to eliminate this piece of pipe and make this one long nipple, just simply by clicking onto that piece of pipe and going to my ribbon and hitting remove pipe, that creates that as one long shaped nipple. And that's some of the additional editing functionality in ECCAD running in AutoCAD MEP. We hope you enjoyed this video. See what's next in our product tips playlist or visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.